Hey everyone, so today, in my opinion, I want to talk about what I believe is a great handheld console for your kids. Now, I'm talking about as something, maybe their first handheld console that they're going to be holding on their own without as much supervision, just with you hopping them here and there. So I believe it's going to be the Nintendo 2DS, the original one, not the new clamshell version. Now, I want to talk about all the great stuff that you can do with this once it's jailbroken, and even if it's not jailbroken, there'll be a lot of things you can do on top of being able to play the original 2000 games that were available for the system. So let's get into the video. Oh, and as well, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and let me know if there's anything else anyone would like to see. All right, everyone, so the console... I want to talk about is the 2DS. Now, this is personally what I think is a very good starting console for anybody who has, you know, young children, uh, kids, anybody like, you know, five up, roughly four, maybe if you're pushing a little bit there. But I think this is a very good console to start out with. This is a console that already has an established base. So you have thousands of games that you can go off of. There are literally, I think, over 2,000 games that have been made between the DS and the 3DS that you can play with this. So, the 2DS here is based off of the original 3DS hardware. So, what I mean by that is you won't be able to play, for example, Super Nintendo games that you can play on the new uh, 2DS or new 3DS, 3DS XL, etc. But that being said, you can still play DS games like I mentioned, 3DS games, and if you modify it, you can do a lot, a lot more stuff. Obviously, if you modify it, I'd recommend you do what I did, which was set passwords to certain things. That way, your kid might not be able to mess with the jailbreak, because you don't want to mess with the jailbreak, because that might have unintended, you know, things might happen that you don't want it to happen. But... That being said, let's let's get into the 2DS here. So, 2DS, like I mentioned, plays a, a lot of games. So right off the bat, you can put in DS games and 3DS games, just like the original 3DS and the new 3DS XLs family there. You can do all that stuff. The game I have here was Pokemon Dash. My kid liked this game. I picked up another DS game for him as well, which was Super Mario. Uh, I think Super Mario 64, and uh, I think Adora the Explorer learning game. So there are a lot of learning games for the DS and the 2DS. So that is a big plus in my opinion. Unlike other consoles, like uh, for example the PSP or even the Vita, you know, the Game Boy Advance has some stuff too, but not as much as the 2DS. This is something good. Nintendo is really big on family-friendly content, and they have a lot of stuff to back it. So, yeah, it's it's definitely good in, in those terms. So, what I want to do is I just want to show you more what you can do when it's, when it's not modified. So, I'll show you just the basic stuff, and then I'll get into what you can do beyond when you have a modified 2DS. So, let's get into it. All right, so now looking a little bit closer at the 2DS, as you can tell, this is not like the 3DS very, obviously it is a single panel, including the glass. I mean, sorry, the glass, the screen. So if something was, for example, to happen to the screen, the bottom or the top, they would both have to be replaced, which might be hard to do since this is currently discontinued. Now, the 2DS here, since it's a single panel like this, I personally think it is better since the kids cannot break the hinges. Now, I, would, I used to see that a lot where people just had broken hinges. And right now, this is roughly going for, I've seen a line between 60 to $100, usually even upwards of 130 depending on the version. So it's not the cheapest, but it's definitely not like buying a brand new Nintendo Switch Lite, which is, I think, $200, if I'm not mistaken, $250 maybe. So it's it's definitely not on that level. Now, as you can, as I mentioned before, you can go into the network, the 3DS network, and download games there just like you would normally. 
You can purchase all these games, no problem. That isn't an issue. Just like you would with the 3DS. So all these family-friendly games you can get right there. It really is a simple thing to do. Now, the convenient thing about this is that it takes, I mean, I guess it's more convenient now, but it takes just a regular SD card there. Now, the thing I would, <laughs> that I would say that you're probably gonna lose if you give it to a kid would be the stylus. This has already been, had to be replaced once. My kid already lost it. Now, there are themes for this. Kid loves playing themes on his. Now, this one, like I mentioned, is hacked. So that being that being the case, there are certain apps here that are not accessible by him. For example, if he tries to hit this, it's restricted. That's something I would definitely recommend is restricting it if you have to, because you definitely don't want to. These kids, they they figure out again through everything anyway. To be honest. All right, let's, um, so now that I showed you the basics, let's show you some other features that I'm sure the kids would like to do. Let's go to the camera, for example. Now the camera is fairly simple. It's not, nothing crazy, not the, craziest thing in the world now i think it has two so i think technically you can take those 3d pictures not that it really matters since you're not using you know the 3d function here but let's go back you know, the stylus is a cool little part too let's see what else you can do let's go to the app section here you have more stuff that's already built in and free this is the AR game, so I guess this is where you can use the two cameras in the back. The shooter, the face shooter, the me was at the, 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 the street plaza. All right, so this is, that's just the basic stuff that comes with it. The gameplay, if you've ever seen a 3DS, it plays exactly the same. So you know what, let's see what else we have here that would be good to play. Well, let's do Smash Brothers. It's a very simple game in terms of it's uh, pretty difficult. So it should play pretty good. Let's see how it looks. I might take, now the 2DS does take a little bit longer to load than the newer ones. Just so everybody is aware, it's not gonna be instantaneously. As you can tell, it's still loading. There we go, now it's going. So the Super Smash Brothers, it's a pretty intense game to play on, on, on this console. It would run a little slower on the original 3DS, just like it would here. All right, here we go. Let's do a quick, let's do a quick fight. All right, hit start. Just do, let's just do random. So fight already is, I think it is. So it runs very smooth in that aspect. Yeah, it runs very good. So this is even though they're no longer really they're still I think they're still supporting to a certain level. Because the switch is already out, it's not as getting as much support as it used to. It's I still like the 3DS and the 3DS family. Still a very good console, and sometimes you can't take away from the fact that it is more portable than even the Switch Lite, especially the ones you can just fold up. But it is definitely rec I definitely recommend this for kids, just for that fact I mentioned before that kids could just break it, literally just snap it if they with the clamshell design. You know, obviously now the screens are less protected. There are things you can do to protect it. So for example, this one has a tempered glass front type of top screen and has a regular screen protector for the bottom. That way it's protected. And, 
and it does come in handy because I had to replace the bottom screen protector already because kids will be kids and destroy everything they can get their hands on. Oh no, there we go. All right, I like Captain Falcon. It's probably one of my favorite characters to play with. But yeah, this is just how it looks. This is how the a 3DS game would look. Obviously there's no 2DS, I mean, sorry, no 3D effect or anything that you would see here because they removed it. That's how they saved money doing it. Now the new 2DS is still very good. I'd, I'd recommend that. Maybe not so much for kids, but for anybody else, it is a pretty, pretty good thing to play with. Ooh, last second I got him. All right, so now let's talk about what you can do when it is jailbroken. All right, let's close it out. Okay, so since it's jailbroken, there are ways you can copy the carts and just save it onto the memory card specifically. Now that I can talk about that a little bit more later on, there are certain things you can do. Uh, what else is there? There's also three, no, sorry, DS emulators that where you, where if you got like the ROM from here, you can just take the ROM and put it in 3D, 3D, is there a DS emulator? So let's go here. So this is gonna be the, it's called Twilight. This is the best way to play DS off of the, off of the memory cards. Now, you can have what's called R4 carts. There are, there's another one that you can use too that will also pretty much do the same thing. Um, it will essentially play a DS-ROM. Like this one's pretending to be a DSi. And I'll just do a quick run through. I already have Mario 64, so let's just do that. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay. There we go. All right, let's try. It's like I mentioned before, so you'll have Team Umizoomi, which is a great kids game. I could play that one. The Dora, Big Birthdays, good for kids. There's a lot of good stuff here for kids. Sesame Street, the Backyardigans. A lot of stuff here you can use for your kids and I'd recommend doing it even if you wanted to just order the the original games off of eBay and just have them lying around that works too there's just so many kid games for for the DS and 3DS family there's just a quick gameplay let's just do this one first See, it'll run like it'll run with no problem. <laughs> yep, this is exactly how I remembered it. So the games run no problem; they don't have any issues. This is how it was back in the DS. I would say it's a little weird, I guess, for the kids to play on the top buttons, depending on the size of their hands. But other than that, they don't really give me too much issue. All right, now this is my opinion obviously on the 2DS. Everybody can take with it what they want. I personally think it was a good little console for my son when he was playing with it. He liked the themes because he liked Pokemon. You can put a lot, of, you can put even more themes on it if you had it actually jailbroken. So let me just show you, here's the hack section. You'll have, this is where you get your themes from. This is where you would you would install the games that you copied from your memory from the carts itself. And this is a Luna hack. So there was a lot of things you could do. Checkpoint is a save file. So you can save the files offline or whatever you want to do with it. So everyone, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. One more thing. You can also put Game Boy Advance games are here as well. I'm sorry, I should have mentioned that before. So Game Boy Advance games you can put here. 
For example, Pokemon Crystal is just Game Boy Color games. It can play that. It can play Game Boy Advance games like Pokemon Fire Red or original Game Boy Color games. Let's just do that one real quick. There you go. So if you're interested in retro gaming, this can do totally do it, do all that stuff as well. So it looks and plays very good. Granted, it won't look as well as the analog pocket, but it looks good. All right, thank you, everyone.